Testing one, two, just doing a quick test here. Kathy, is it good? Let me see the slide. Hello, hello. <laughs> is it good? Okay, excellent. Be back momentarily. Kevin with Online Trader Central. And now the drum roll. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our two presenters today from uh, Right Line Trade. Right, well, we have Mr. Mark Sachs and the first. Melissa Armo. Melissa Armo has been. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, Online Trader Central. And yes, my name is Melissa Armo in a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. I'm going to present here today first. And then Mark's going to take the mic about halfway through the presentation. He's going to talk about volatility and what he does as a trader. And before that, I'm going to talk about volatility here in the market today as a trader. So we're going to get two ways to trade volatility today for huge profits. It's going to be a very interesting lecture. So welcome. If you'd like more information on my company, you can go to my website, www.thestockswish.com. You can also feel free to reach out to me and email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Kathy, if you can put my information in there. And this is a picture of me. Uh, my name is Melissa Armo. I'm an equities trader. A lot of people always ask me, uh, because I teach the method that I trade, do I trade as well? And the answer is yes. So I'm an equities trader. I've been trading for six years. It's hard to believe, but time really flies. Every day, uh, the market is part of my life in some way or another, and it's very exciting. So let's get going here. 
if you're a trader right now, you may feel like this girl here, like you're frustrated. You're frustrated. You feel like you just don't make enough money in your trades and you wonder why. Why is it that you're not making enough money in your trades? Well, maybe it's because the stocks that you're picking, the trades that you're taking, just don't have enough volatility. Yeah, that was me. That's me. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. So it's a lack of a method many, many times to pinpoint volatility and momentum. It's like this guy here, he's a scientist. He really has to get down and look really, really very, very detailed into that microscope to find something to trade on the day before it happens. And this is where the microscope effect comes into searching from pinpointing volatility because everyone can see volatility after it's already happened. You, all you have to do is pull up your scanner on any given day. For example, the stock that I looked at today, I saw before the move even happened. It was sign up, okay? It was a bullish gap. Anyone in the world could have seen it at any point in the day from 9.30 on, actually, that the stock had a lot of volatility in it. But in the morning, I saw that that stock was going to have volatility before it even played out on the live day. So this is where the microscope effect comes into pinpointing what to do before the trade sets up, before the momentum comes into the stock. And again, I'm an equities trader, so I trade stocks. And you can use this method to trade other things in the markets too, like the market ETFs. I prefer companies, and I'm going to tell you a little later why. But either way, whatever method you're using to trade, and again, Mark is going to talk about a different one today too, the way he trades, you need to have volatility and momentum to profit. If I had to trade every single morning and get in a stock and have it move five pennies, six pennies, seven pennies, ten pennies, I, I wouldn't do this. i got to be honest with you. I'd be bored to pieces. One of the reasons that I like to trade is because it's exciting to me. I'm passionate about what I do because I find it exciting every day. I never know what I'm going to trade, and I never know exactly how much money I'm going to make, and I'm always looking for a nice, big, volatile move in something, and I'm always looking for big profits, and many days I get it. If I had to get up every day knowing that all I have was a little dink of a move, I, I wouldn't do this. I'd find something else. I'd find a way to use my skills in some other way. Because the profit comes in trading from momentum. And that's the reason that I like the strategy that we're going to talk about today. If it's too late for you to get it, the move has already happened, then you can't get paid right. All right? You're going you're gonna to be a chaser. You're going to be grabbing, 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 trying to get the money late. You're going to end up basically shorting something that had the bullish move because you missed the bullish move. You missed the long, so you're going to short it then, and it's really a buy. Or you're going to buy something that's had a huge down move that's really a short, and you should have gotten the short move because the right move is in the right direction based on the way that the stock is setting up on the daily chart. The goal is to get the big move and the follow through before it's too late. Now, this is a chart of Cree. And actually, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, Cree is lower. Okay, Cree is definitely, definitely lower. However, the volatile move on this was the day of the gap, the day this gap set up here. And then do you see you could have actually played this for a swing trade all the way down. Now, this was back in the end of April. Cree set up as a gap play, as a short move. If you did this on the live day, you had a short trade in here with volatility and momentum. And if you held some of the trade for a longer term trade, you could have gotten it for a swing trade. One, two, three, four. Four days down, the stock just took a bath, never looked back. If you are trying to get it in here somewhere, you're grabbing it, you're chasing it, or even here. You're grabbing, 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 chasing it. Now, this is still in the move for a core trade. And by that, I mean longer, longer term. But the day trade here and the swing trade here happened very fast. And if you tried to chase it, you missed it. I mean, obviously now you can see, but I saw this before this thing even happened and way before this happened. How? Again, the strategy that I trade. So you're here today for a reason. It's probably because you want to make money trading or you want to make more money trading than you've been. And maybe it's because of the fact that you're not doing something that moves. You want to do it. The answer is yes, you want to make money trading. I mean, think about this. Sometimes people get involved with trading and they go on and on for years and years and years, learning different things and trying to find different methods. It's really pretty simple. You narrow it down. Trading the right strategy, you take something that has momentum, you get it in the right direction, you add size to that, and you can make a lot of money. I mean, it's just, it's just a simple equation. It's that many people don't know what to be looking at in any given day. They don't know what stock to watch. They don't know what strategy to trade. And they also don't know what direction to play it correctly. And you do have to get that right. I mean, that is part of it too. 
So how to find the volatility? How can you find it? The key is to find a stock to trade before the volatile move happens. You want to find the stock beforehand. And what do I mean by that? Before it moves. And actually, before the open of the, of the day. That's what I'm finding. These. You want to find them beforehand so you don't miss it. But in order to do that, you need a strategy that spots volatility. How do you find volatility before it sets up? You need a strategy that inherently has momentum, meaning that almost every day that something does this strategy, it moves. Okay? You need a method to pick the stock symbol that will play out with volatility on that specific day. And you need a method that is reliable, meaning it's going to set up a lot. There's many strategies out there that are volatile, but they don't happen that often. Like a couple of times a month. And that's really not enough to make substantial earnings in the market if you want to do it for a career. And, and it's a lot of work to get up every day if something's not there all the time. So what I do is reliable, meaning it's there in the market Monday through Friday. You need a technique that uses advanced technical analysis, which is the method I use to trade, to determine the target for the move and the risk to reward for your trade. Because something has to have a good target. Part of the equation of volatility means that it's going to go somewhere that's big. And that means you need to know, if I take this stock here long, this is the target. Oh, yes, I see that. That's pretty big. That's volatile. It's going to happen. Volatility means big move and fast. Okay, it's a combination of those things. So you got to know the target. Otherwise, you don't know if it's going to be volatile at all. The momentum that comes into the market and stocks in this strategy makes it exciting to trade. And the profits can be so big. A lot of buying or selling coming into stocks creates opportunity for you to make money. And it's all due to this one strategy. And the strategy is gaps. That's the strategy that I trade. So what is a gap? Many of you may know what gaps are. Some of you may not. But I'm just going to very briefly describe this for those of you that are new to gap trading. A stock gaps when the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. That's what it means. A gap is a break, a break in the price action from one day to the next. So here's an example of Fran. Fran closed here. This was on June 9th. Fran closed at the end of business at 4 o'clock Eastern time at $15.28. Then the next day, this is June 10th, it was yesterday, Fran opened at $13.69. That's a gap. It's a gap down. There are gap ups as well. I'm going to look at one of those today too. However, this is a gap down. So this is what a gap is. It's a break. It's a brace, break in price action from the close of business one day to the open of business the next day. Because the uh, U.S. stock market has a close of business at 4 o'clock Eastern time and an open, which is at 9.30. It's a nice thing about trading the U.S. market. Besides the fact that you get stocks that have a lot of volatile moves and a lot of volume and momentum, there's actually a close and actually an open, so you have time to prepare. If the market was a 24-hour market, actually, you wouldn't have time at the same time to prepare for things. So I, I, I like the U.S. market. I, I really, really do. I enjoy trading it. So why are gaps so volatile? Gaps are created by institutions in the market. What I mean by institutions, big banks, hedge funds, big, 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 big money. They all participate in stocks when they gap. When a stock gaps, it creates a panic or like a hurried action, okay, for the stock that will bring in the volatility in either a lot of buying or selling. And the hurried action could be not just selling, it could be buying too, like hurry up, we got to get this thing, we got to get it quick, buy it here, quickly, quickly, quickly. It's a hurried action. Panic can be also on the upside too, but I personally prefer panic to the downside because when people get upset, they're worried, they were up money, then they're down, they tend to get out of things very quickly. And that creates a lot of volatility, like in the Fran. The key is to find the right direction to play the stock to get the move and volatility in that direction. And that's how you got to know how to look at it. It's all about having a focus. Find it. Find the focus. How are you going to find the volatility? In the strategy, which is gaps. How do you find the gaps that will move big? Because not all gaps move big. You need a system to do this. Using a system is significant to your success because there's so many stocks each day in the market to trade. And not only that, there's a lot of stocks that gap. If you can narrow down what to focus on, you will have a better chance of making money each day you trade. And this is really the key here. Because otherwise, you get up in the morning, you don't know what you're supposed to do. She go long, she go short, she go with the market. Do you need the market for this? What's the market doing today? What should I do? If you have everything figured out beforehand, you'll have a better chance of making money. And it's about pinpointing the quality stocks to trade. It's so imperative for consistent profits in the large volatile moves because you got to get them early. And having a detailed way to find which stock to trade will make it easier for you to trade each day and therefore achieve success. And how do I do that? I use a daily rating system as my method each day to find the volatile stocks to trade. That's what I do. 
So today, this is, I actually went long today. For those of you that follow me, you may be shocked. However, I took a bullish gap today. It was a high quality gap per my system. I got up in the morning, I rated this gap, so I knew what to focus on, I knew what to do it, and I knew in what direction. And this is Sina. It's a long. It opened, it opened down in here, it held 77 as a low, and the high of the day was almost $87. That is volatility. Boom, that's it. The stock moved $10 on the day. And the close of the business price of yesterday was down in here. It was roughly 67 something. Stock capped up $10 and ran $10 on the day. And that, my friends, is volatility. And this is how you want to be able to find things like this. Because if you don't find something like this, you're not going to be able to make this kind of money. And this is how you make money as an individual trader. What made this gap? What happened in China? How did this thing go up from being up $10 overnight and still running $10 on the day? And by the way, it's higher. It's higher because it didn't get to the dream target today. How? Because it got bought. It got bought by institutions who made this gap and they decided to buy it. Who knows why? It doesn't matter. I don't even look at that, okay? I look at technical analysis, reading the chart patterns here to determine that this is good and I want to watch it and it's going to have a volatile move. And I use a system, my rating system to do it. So the 26-point rating system, what does it do? It tells you, you and me, what stock to trade that will have volatility. And you go off and you check it. Do, do, do. And you write everything down. You say, yes, this is good. And then you just sit and you watch it for a setup. And you take it in the right direction. And that's the other key. The 26-point rating system also teaches you directional bias. Here's JCP. JCP had a bullish gap back here. This was mid-May. But it wasn't a good bullish gap. It was a stinky bullish gap. So it wasn't a buy. You actually have shorted this. Now, you know, it's one of these things where I'm focusing on what I'm doing usually to the downside. But every once in a while, I do a bullish gap. But JCP was not a good bullish gap. So you didn't want to buy this year. You should not have bought it. But this is another thing that the rating system teaches you what to do. Short it, long it, what should you do? And you follow it. So the 26-point rating system points, they help you. They help you make money easily. Spotty volatility is easy, really, if you have a strategy and a method to do so. It's just that many people don't. And it's also the lack of follow-through that traders have with their trades. You have to have the follow-through because it's the only way you're really going to get paid. There's no risk-reward in trades with lack of follow-through. Trades with follow-through have good risk-reward coverage of 3 plus and many times over 5. It's the volatility in the stocks that create the good risk-reward trades. So it's ultimately all about the risk-to-reward. Meaning, if you take a trade and you risk one penny and you only make one penny, that's not a good risk-to-reward trade. Are you up? Are you up money? Yes, yes you are. But not every trade works. Okay, so if every trade you take, you make a penny in it, you risk a penny and make a penny, that's not going to cover your losses for you to actually be positive, enough to pay your bills or do anything. So every penny you risk has to make at least three pennies because a couple of times you're going to take a trade and risk a penny and you're going to lose a penny. Okay, so it's about the risk to reward and volatility helps this. This is, you, you, you need the volatility to get the risk to reward. I mean, this is part of the concept. What is a good risk to reward trade? One dollar equals three. This isn't the low end, but this should be your goal. This is going to cover you, uh, paying you, your commissions, your platform fees, your room fees, your losses, and actually paying yourself. So you can be positive in your trades. And the benefit of trading gaps and stocks with volatility is that they have moves with a good risk to reward. Some of the moves can be even be five dollars per dollar risk or ten dollars per dollar risk. And the payouts for each dollar risk can be even more if they go to the dream target. Okay, and Sina was one of those today. Actually, target next target's 90, that's not even dream target. Sina will see $100 like sooner rather than later. And that stock could have gone there today. That stock opened at 77, it could have gone to 100 bucks today. It could have. So that trade would have been way more than 10 if it had gone all the way up there. So let's talk about some of these trades here in gaps. We were just discussing what a gap is. Let's just review it here in rally. This was a bearish gap. If you rated the bearish gap, it rated good enough to watch to trade to do what? To short. The stock closed the night before up here right just teeny weeny above $12 and opened the next day down here. The stock gapped. It closed up here and opened down here at a different price the next day. And you would look at this and you would go through the system and you would rate this and you say, yes, this is going to have volatility here. This is going to have a move. This is going to be a good short and I want to do this today. You see all of this beforehand in the morning before 9.30, before the market opens, and you decide you're going to watch it, and you do so. And then you watch it to trade. And this is a one-minute chart. So you would have watched this to set up, 
and then you would have taken the setup in here short. And here's an example of volatility. The stock actually moved all the way down. It moved more than a dollar. It happened pretty quickly in the first hour, all the way down into 1030. And this is volatility in a stock. Okay. Follow through, nice follow through. Entry time was early, six minutes into the open. Price of the entry is 942, 11 cents. That's a good, good stop. And if you took an advanced risk of 5,500 shares or $605, the exit, not down the low, but 850, which was a target, you could have made over $5,000. And that's a lot of money for a day trade. That's a lot of money for a day trade. Not only that's a lot of money for a day trade to make only risking 605. Now, 605 is an advanced risk. But even if you divvy that up into three, so let's just say your, your cash amount you're risking was 200 bucks, okay, 5,000 divided by three, that's still a hefty profit on the day, meaning 8.4 times the amount risk, meaning for every dollar that you risked in rally, you would have made eight. And you didn't even have to think. I mean, you actually could have taken this trade and just walked away and came back. I mean, it was one of these things where you didn't have to worry, should I take it out, should I take it out, is it not going, is it not working? This thing just slid on down like a slidey board. And lots of times this is what happens in stocks when they break to the downside or follow through to the upside. If they're good quality gaps that have volatility, they'll just go. Sometimes they'll just go right to the number, right to the target. And actually, Sina did that today into the open. And you just never know. And that's why it's so great to be able to watch the right thing. It's all about this. It is all about this. And then you take the right trade with size. And then that's how you can make big profits. And this is a great trade. This is a great trade here because it was way more than three. And your goal is only three. So if your goal is three and you have one trade where you make more than two, okay, more than two times your, your immediate goal or almost three times your goal for the day, that's, that's huge. And this is how you're putting together a week and a month for yourself if you're day trading. So would you like to make this kind of money in just one trade over five grand? Of course, of course you would. Anyone would. It's a, what I call a comma trade, which is anything $1,000 or more. And gaps have a lot of comma trades. Why? Because they have volatility. Why do they have volatility? Because institutions make gaps. And institutions have money. They're selling out of stocks and they're buying stocks with all the money in the world that they have. And they make stocks move. Like Sina or Rally or any of the ones, they make it happen. And if you really want to make this kind of money, I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. The Golden Gap Course teaches one solid strategy. That's it. That's all that I do to trade gaps effectively. The course teaches you how to find momentum and volatility in stocks, and it works. The course teaches how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction, because if you don't get in the trade in the right direction, you won't profit correctly. With the volatility, meaning you could take something in the opposite direction, but you're not going to get the same setup, you're not going to get the same risk reward, and you're not going to get the same target, and you need that target. You need that target and that push to get you paid. The course teaches a more proficient and advanced way to read charts, focusing on technical analysis and gaps. I think the one thing is that the people who have been following me, I think it's pretty evident the people who have been following me for any length of time, whether it's one week, one month, or a year, everybody knows that I trade price. And the longer that I do it and the better that I do it, I think people are really starting to see, hmm, there's something to this year. Because I've been calling this market extremely well. The market is so bullish. I've called the targets off for the market. And we don't have time to talk about the market today, but I'll tell you right now, the SPY is headed to 200, and this market isn't coming in. And I looked at the way the market closed today, and I know people are going to short this market, but it isn't coming in. This is a new buying that's in the market here right now. And how do I know this? Because I'm reading the gaps in the ETFs, in the QQQs, and in the SPY, and in the market. So you can learn how to do this. You're going to get good at reading price, and you're going to be able to do it in anything that you want to read, or you need to understand price in order to trade. The course teaches how to get conviction in your trading and the market because that's what's paying you as a source of wealth by trading with the side of volatility and power for consistent profits. So you've got to narrow down what to watch. What should you watch? The focus is rate the gap, the 26 points, the strategy itself. Here was the Fran. Fran just happened this week. Nice gap in Fran. Setup happened very, very, very quickly. Fran was just one of these ones where actually you didn't even have to be in this all day. You could have shorted Fran here when it's set up and been out of it in three minutes. Three minutes or less, actually. So every once in a while, you'll get a move that happens so fast, so quick, because the volatility comes in so hard that you're up so much money that you have to take it out. Now, you could have reshorted this, but the fact is you could have quit before 9.35 and the other day yesterday if you had traded Fran. Price of the entry was 13.79. Now, this stop is a little bit bigger than the one for the rally. 31 cents, again, advanced risk of 620. 
exits 1320, actually went down to 1313 if you held it all day. Total profit 1180. Now this is not three R's. Okay, here's an example. This is under two, but the money's still good. And you still had a solid gap and followed your strategy. And guess what? You made two R's in two minutes. So that's pretty good, okay? Because you could have retaken this. You could have actually reshorted this back up here in the rally again. You could have taken two trades in this. You could have done something else of the day. You could have stopped. So it's about getting the clean directional bias with a good risk-reward trade, the right setup, the strategy, which is gaps, which is pinpointing the volatility of something like Fran or Rally or Sina or even the market. That's going to set up correctly for you to be able to make money because this is what your goal is. Learn how to make money trading volatility. It's extremely important. Learn a method that helps you prepare ahead of time with a checklist. When you have everything situated ahead of time, you're going to be less stressed about your trading choices. In the live day, when you're making decisions, things happen very fast if you trade volatility. And you want that. You want that because that's how you're going to make a lot of money quickly. And, and I love doing that. But you've got to be prepared. The reason I'm able to do it so, so, so decisively when I take my trades, when I just attack the things that I do, is because I have everything ready ahead of time. I could never hit the button as fast as I do and attack my trades, getting in them with the size that I do unless I wasn't fully prepared ahead of time. So it's, it's one of these things that that preparation will help you jump. It's like you get right to the starting line, you're ready, they're going to put the bell off, it's going to go, you have to go when the, when the gun goes off. And if you're not prepared, then you're not going to go, and, or you'll miss it, or you'll be late. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a complete system. It's a complete system to learn how to trade and make money day trading. If you want to trade equities, if you want to trade stocks, you can learn how to trade from me. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. However, you can flip the points to do bullish gaps, like I did today with the sign-up. It's an online class. The retakes for the class are free. So after you sign up for the class the first time, you can retake it as many times as you want for free. The class is June 21st and 22nd, not this weekend, but the following weekend, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It is a professional bearish gap system, and the cost of the class is $24.99. If you're interested in more information, you can email me here at melissa at thestockswish.com. I'll put my information in here. Does anyone have any questions for me about gaps, about trading, about the market? at all before Mark speaks here about his method and his strategy. Any questions about volatility, gaps, anything I said today, any of the stocks, the market? We have a few minutes here for questions before Mark gets on. Everybody good? <laughs> all righty. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it over to Mark. If anyone does have questions, you can just email me after the webinar this evening, okay? Feel free to email me after the webinar this evening. And you can also go to my YouTube site, which is the Stock Swish on YouTube. I have a lot of videos there. I do my market calls there as well. All right, great. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to hand it over to Mark.